What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. I want to talk about Tory Lane's situation. Uh, for those of you who know, or maybe you don't, um, he was charged uh, with the incident with Meg Thee Stallion. And there are a lot of people on social media celebrating this. And I talked about it on my live stream. And it's just comical how people are acting as if this means he's going to go down for this. As if he's actually going to be put away for 22 years due to this incident. Even though Meg, throughout this process of protecting the melanated woman has not even attempted to go further and file any type of charges against them, right? She didn't even want to really speak on it until she started to get um, some pushback on social media because her and a lot of other people like her, they care so much about what people think online that she's then naming Tori. Tory puts out this album, Daystar, pronouncing his innocence, and then you have this situation occur. Now, this is the response, and uh, we're going to get to that, but let's, let's look a little bit of this article. I'll even have it here. It says, Tory Lanez is defending himself publicly following his felony charge in the Meg Thee Stallion uh, incident. Uh, arguing he deserves his day in court. The rapper broke his silence Friday morning after the L.A. County D.A.'s office charged him Thursday with one count of assault um, with a semi and one count of carrying a loaded unregistered uh, firearm in a vehicle. Tories responding by reminding fans the charge is not a conviction. He also posted emojis to say time will tell. And the truth will come to light. I do believe the truth will come to light eventually as well. I think that it's interesting how this happened to, to Meg, but all her friends are abandoning her. You know, well, well, not all, but there's a few who have left her camp, so to speak. And there was one there in particular who hasn't said anything publicly. Why aren't they defending her? You know what's funny? They have this campaign on social media about how we need to protect melanated women, right? Protect the melanated woman. But she's not protecting herself. You had another melanated woman there who's not protecting her either. It's just a way to get attention. It's just a way to go after us as men because that's what they do. They want to go after us as men and they utilize any and every situation that they can to become victims. Because we know the key to power in 2020 is victimhood. That is the key to power. Now, I want people to understand something. I'm not saying Tory is 100% innocent. I have said this before and I'm going to continue to say it because I'm not apologizing for anything. I don't think I was wrong. Everybody deserves their day in court. I saw this situation possibly coming to a head sooner or later. He was going to court anyway. Nobody's talking. So the DA decided to go ahead and file. Which is what they were planning to do anyway. But the thing is that you have people out here who don't understand the criminal process. They think they do, but they don't. A lot of what you're seeing on social media is fake outrage because there are people out there who deal with guys who are worse than Tory, who've done worse and they still deal with them. They're not trying to separate from them, but they get on social media and they want to deflect. Now, let me read this tweet is entirety. Time will tell. And the truth will come to light. I have all faith in God to show that love to all my fans and people who have stayed true to me and know my heart. A charge is not a conviction. If you have supported me or Meg through this, I genuinely appreciate you. So he is still, after all that, still has love for Meg. But why is Megan 
pointing the finger at him as if he meant to do it. Now, we know both were drinking. We know both, uh, in a, in a, for the most part, were getting into it. But what we don't know is the clear details. Nobody has given a clear story. But because they're going to be forced to go to court, they're going to have to give full details. Now, they may try to leave something out, but you're in court. You can't leave nothing out. And pretty soon, we're all going to know what exactly happened. Because there were four people there. And none of them are the only person, the only ones that are talking. Meg was one. And then Tori was the other. But he didn't give no details. He basically said, I didn't do anything. But we will know. We will know soon enough what happened. But the fact that you have people celebrating this as if they got a win. What did you win? You didn't win anything. You think you won because a black man could possibly go away for this? Does that get a lot of you off? Is the fact that, you know, you're able to punish a black man? That's the problem. Is that you have a lot of disdain towards melanated men and they want to see us get punished by any means, even if we are not as guilty as people want us to believe. I'm not saying Tory is innocent in this. What I'm saying is I don't believe that he intentionally tried to do anything to Meg. I think Meg is in a situation where she felt like she was losing in the court of public opinion and she wanted to change that by saying he did it. Megan cares about what people on social media thinks. She cares that people view her a certain way. But she should also care about the truth. She should also care that th despite what you may think you know about the world, people don't like liars. People don't like deceivers. People don't like have truths. We want the truth. You have a lot of fans who do look up to you, unfortunately. So you should be real and honest with them. What you should be saying is that you should never get into it with somebody. If you feel like that person doesn't care about you, don't want to be with you, you should separate yourself from them. Instead of getting into it with the person, trying to, you know, talk that person down, argue with them. If you have to argue with somebody drunkenly, then obviously that person is not somebody that you should want to be with because apparently it may have been due to jealousy that she may have been jealous of Kylie Jenner. Don't take my word for it as Tory. He basically alluded to it. Tory alluded to it that it could have all started with jealousy of Kylie Jenner. Okay. And I do believe that because there are a lot of insecure women out here who are jealous of other women. They're not going to say it, but they are. They're jealous of other women. And this is where this situation may have sprung up. But there are some other things that have gone on, too, that uh, may have made this situation almost inevitable. But that's just my take on it.